Hey, what's up, guys? Imran here, Monster Gadgets, and I am back in the Amazon parking lot. And today we are testing out the summons feature. So it's been a while since I've tested that out, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it to test today. I am currently running version FSC supervised version 12.3.6, as you guys can see there. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out, see how well it works, and uh, put it to the test. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, as you can see, I am here. I've got uh, Monster parked right over here. And the first test we're gonna do is we're simply gonna walk away from the car, a little of a distance away from traffic, and uh, go ahead and summon it and see if it comes to us. And then if that is successful, we'll go ahead and do a more uh, involved test, meaning uh, maybe it'll be around traffic, around pedestrians, you know, things like that. So I'm just gonna walk back over here and then turn around, show you guys where the Model 3 is. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my app and uh, have it come to me. And of course, I will share that with you the best I can. So you guys can see, hopefully, the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Summon and it's gonna go ahead and detect where the car is and where I am. So it says parked 115 feet away and I am over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move my target to where I'm at. So that's the car, that's where I am. Go to target. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that. So I'm gonna keep it pressed and uh, the car is now reversing as you can see. For those of you that might be new to this, always keep your car within eyes view so you can go ahead and disengage if you need to. So right now it is coming to me and that's actually the fastest I've seen it come. The last test I did, which was a while ago, you guys can go check out that video. Uh, it was very slow, but right now it looks like uh, that was successful and that was fast. So let me go ahead and move the car now to another location and uh, we'll do a more involved test. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and test it out in a more advanced setting. As you can see, I've actually parked between the cars here. And uh, I'm simply going to walk away and uh, go over to the store and have the car come to me. This will be a real life simulation. Uh, if you were to go grocery shopping and let's just say it started raining or something and you wanted the car to come to you. So we'll go ahead and test it out and see how well it does. If it does come through this way, the way that we're walking, uh, obviously it's got to stop at a stop sign and make its way over. So let's see how it does. So I think this would be a, a pretty good distance to test it out as far as the next stages. And you can see the car is actually right over there. So here's the app. I'm gonna go ahead and summon. And it's gonna do its thing. It's gonna find it. So let it go ahead and locate right now. It says parked 172 feet away. Um, my location is showing it's on top of a store. I'm actually gonna move forward a little bit. I don't wanna go in the sunlight, but regardless, I'm gonna go ahead and move the route to here. Now, it's projecting this route where it's gonna go around the car onto the other side and to me. I don't like that. Um, Let's see if you can change that somehow. Yeah, I don't know why it's going between the cars. Let's do a precision. No idea what it's doing. The thing is, if I let it go this way, there's no way for me to see. And right now, it's actually, if, you, if I zoom in, let me move this back over here. The way it's projecting the route is going through a car. Um, I mean, right now that's not a live view, but and that's what it's projecting. So let's go ahead and do it anyways. Um, if I, the car itself goes away from my field of view, then I'm gonna go ahead and stop it and run to it. Otherwise, I'll let it do its thing. So uh, let's see what it does. 
the amount of people in traffic here is making me a little nervous. So I'll wait until some of this clears up. Alright. Um, this is probably decent enough. We've got some people here, but not a whole lot. So I'm going to go ahead and click on to target and see what it does. So as you can see, the car is now backing out. And it's stopping. I still have it pressed. Backing out a little bit slower. I'm assuming because there's cars around. It says release to stop. I don't want to release it. But there's no route left, so I think that might be why. So it stopped there. So now there's no route. So this would be a fail. I did let go, as you can see, the car is just kind of sitting there right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to it. If I hit go to target again, it doesn't know what to do. It just says it's stopping. So let me go back over there, move the car back in, and maybe try a different, uh, different location. But that was a fail. Okay, so it basically backed up a little bit, then it stopped. I'm gonna go ahead and move it forward again. All right, and we'll leave it there. Let me go ahead and walk over this way um, and see if we can do a test coming out this way, if that at all improves or not. Let's say I want the car to come here. Uh, right now it's parked the same location. So let me go ahead and bring this back up. Go back into summon. It says connecting. And I want her to come here. Okay, now it's showing a direct route. So let me go ahead and go to target. And as you can see, it's pulling out. Let's see if it pulls out all the way this side. It's trying to do something. Okay, good. So far, so good. There's a car coming. I wonder if it'll throw this off. It says stopping. Alright, it's stopping the way. I'm gonna go stop it real quick, guys. had to quickly run over and move the car so now let's go ahead and uh, try that again I don't know why it stops after reversing it's able to move forward and go it just doesn't do it so now I will go back here call it again let me get back here in the shade you guys will probably get a better view on the screen so target is right here it's got a route once again and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to target and activate it in uh, three two one go to target Okay. Backing out as you can see. Oh, I'm gonna stop it. There's two cars coming. We'll let them go. Come on, car. 
Go on. I think he's waiting for me. Alright, I'll activate it again. This is not working, guys. Hold on. I'm so sorry. Apologize to him. Sorry about that. All right, so out of the three tests, it's been a fail on two of them. I'm not sure why I keep stopping, um, but obviously there's a lot of traffic here and this is just not simply working. I'm, don't know how or why it worked the first time maybe because it was not around cars but the rest of it as you can see has not actually worked that well so i know they're working on some updates coming on the next two versions where there's been rumors online about um, some codes that were found in the latest update that shows there's going to be specific updates for summons so hopefully that'll fix that but as of right now this is still non-functional if anything i feel like it's gotten worse uh with how it's navigating and stopping but it's gotten better in the response time if that makes sense so hopefully you guys found this video to be helpful let's stay tuned for more updates with summons and hopefully it will get better but if you enjoyed this video make sure you give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you guys next time goodbye